Hello everyone, it's me again, Puan Nur Ain. So, we are going to continue with your third lesson for Unit 11, Tailor Mead. Please get ready with your English Jurassic textbook and your PDPR module. Before we start, let's look at the learning objective for today. At the end of the lesson, you must be able to display and describe traditional attires from other countries. Now, I would like you to refer to your textbook, page 105, Traditional Attires from Different Countries. Now, look at these three attires, A, B and C. Can you name the attires and the countries they are from? Actually, model A is from Myanmar. So, let's look at the information. Okay, the first one, where? Long Yi, made. So, the attire is made of cotton or silk and then worn fitted blouse and shawl. So, we can construct the sentences. Model A is from Myanmar. She is wearing a longi. It is made of cotton, cotton or silk. Longi is worn with a fitted blouse and a shawl. All right, now let's describe the other traditional attires. Actually, model B is from Korea, while model C is from Indonesia. Now let's look at the information about model B. So wear hanbok, made of silk or satin, and then worn fitted blouse, loose wrap around skirt, and ornament, a hairpin, and a pouch bag. Okay, now let's look at the next model. Wear baju kebaya, made batik, worn sarong, figure hugging embroidered blouse, and selendang. Let's describe model B. So based on the example given, okay, the example is model A. Try to describe model B. Alright, so model B from Korea. So how to describe this? Yes, model B is from Korea. She is wearing a hanbok here. Okay, she is wear she is wearing a hanbok. It is made of silk and satin. Hanbok is worn with a fitted blouse and a loose wrap around skirt. The accessories are an ornament, a hairpin, and a pouch bag. What about model C? Model C is from Indonesia. So let's describe model C. Model C is from Indonesia. She is wearing a baju kebaya. It is made of batik. Baju kebaya is worn with a saro, a figure hugging embroidered blouse and a selendang. Okay, now your task, your next task is you have to draw and describe a traditional attire that you know. Any traditional attire. Then share it with me so you can draw the model and then you can write the information where what it is made of what and how to wear the uh, attire thank you everyone please complete all your exercises in your module i will see you in the next lesson goodbye and stay safe